So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I know a lot of people are like obsessed over like new stuff like Rhino coming out and um, Pika and some other really cool things in the realm. I hate covering a lot of that stuff just because a lot of people don't even understand the base stuff we have now. And they just install these distros in hopes that it just fits everything to their needs. Spoiler, it's not going to. I don't mind looking at them and going, hey, that's interesting. That's something different. And then stealing from some of that. But it... It's just hard for me to to really, I mean, I guess I should just give in on that because there are really cool things with some of these new ones coming out, especially like Pika being like an Ubuntu fork of uh, really Nobara. You know, they re repackage things to not be dependent on Fedora, which I really did like because I do love Nobara. It's just, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's one of those things. Oh, did you did you have a different one? Oh, geez, I get sent so many damn emails about distros. Let's look at it. Let's just look at it. Uh, opinion of Endeavor OS: Never gonna use it. Never gonna install it. Although I have stolen stuff from their their GitHub. They have a pretty decent GitHub, from what I remember, right? I want to say it was just a fork of Arch, but they had some decent rices. Endeavor OS. Uh, no, I don't care about their official website. Give me their GitHub. What do we got? What do we got? I want to say I was looking through their repos. And I want to put... Uh, no, it wasn't an Endeavor, I don't think. Maybe. But yeah, I think sometimes when I see a rice I like from like an upcoming distro, a lot of times I'll, I'll go to their GitHub and look what they did and maybe grab... A uh, couple things I enjoyed about it. Or if they have like a a cool little panel or something, I might redo it. Endeavor Freeloader. <laughs> yeah. I I mean I freeload on a lot of packages though. <laughs> yeah, Blend OS, Vanilla OS. Good night. There's just it feels like there's a blow up of a whole bunch of new distros happening right now. A lot of people are, I think. Uh, a lot of a lot more emphasis on immutable. They're actually doing different things with a lot of these OSs and distros I've mentioned today so far. Uh, so it's not like any hate on them. There's actually a purpose to them, mostly. I think I haven't really used them to say that. I, I just look at them like, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll install that on a VM and poke around and see if there's something there I might steal. Uh, but Actually using any of these new distros on my main daily driver? Come on. Now. I'm I'm out. But Hikari's sitting there. He he moved because you moved from uh, Ubuntu. And Blend OS. Well, let's just copy that. Let's let's just let's just look at it. Oh, what was the Bazanti? Oh, it serves as an alternate operating system for the Steam Deck and ready to game. Steam OS like for desktop. Well, this looks really, really cool. It looks like it's from Universal Blue, and Universal Bills, Blue is an immutable distribution based on Fedora, which means expanded hardware support, built in drivers automatically, proprietary NVIDIA drivers pre installed, full. Wow. Okay. That looks like a video. We got to toss that. Gosh, I got so much work to do. I'm so far behind from being sick. Oh my gosh. Just ridiculous. I don't even... We're, we're, I got so much garbage to go through. Okay. Yeah, that looks really interesting to me. That is something I might tinker with. Well, for sure. OCI image that serves as an alternate operating system for the Steam Deck and a ready-to-game Steam Deck OS for desktop computers. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to try that. We'll might mess around with that, too. All right, and Blend OS. I'm sorry. Oh, main workstation still running Pop OS. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, and then there's Blend OS. 
Only operating system seems to be a blend of all Linux distributions. I already hate this thing. Why? Let's see. Maybe it's a different. Let's let's not pass judgment. With native support for Android, Linux, Linux apps, Debian. Uh, what? Who's gonna use this shit? It, it, oh God bless. I can only imagine the amount of problems they have. Yeah, you just double click an APK deb RPM file flat pack, uh, whatever you want. Shoot, maybe maybe. Ugh. No, I'm never covering Blend OS unless something monumental happens. That seems just completely bonkers to me. Pick a damn package and then stick to it. If you like APKs, great. Stick with Alpine and use that and then supplement it with Nix and Flatpak. Cool. If you like RPM, install Fedora. Use RPMs, Flatpak and Nix to supplement that. Yeah, these distros are like, well, you can use Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch Linux, Kali Linux. I mean, really, this is, I mean, they should just be like, use Debian packages, RHEL packages, because honestly, all of this is RHEL right here. So you can use Debian packages, RHEL packages, or Arch Linux packages, which I think Arch Linux is like Z ZST, I think. That's a weird package from Pac-Man. Ah, there's just no nothing good ever comes from using shit tons of package managers. I am not impressed. That's going in the trash bin. I will not cover it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you just got to think. Why why are you using a distribution for that? The idea behind that distribution is a good idea. The idea is to be just support everything, install whatever packages you want. It's it, and it's just going to install and play, right? And it probably does that for the most part. Um, the problem I have is, well, I know what goes into the back end on that, and having that many package managers with that many dependencies. One, let's say everything works perfectly as advertised going to bloat up the living F out of your system with that many different package manager compatibilities. Holy crap. I don't even want to think what you, this, the size of this install would be after using it for like a year or two. Um, second, you're going to run into dependency problems. There's going to be dependency errors. Shit. If you just use one of those package managers, we've all run into dependency problems. Could you imagine having multiple package managers and be like, wait, which one did I use? What's the problem? I mean, you're just opening up a can of worms there. <laughs> That's what it is. Just use DistroBox. It's better, yeah. The immutable part in the containers first, that makes sense. It does. I like immutable. I mean, I'm definitely sold on immutable after using SteamOS for, you know, since the Steam Deck's come out. So I get, I, I definitely uh, can respect the immutable part. That definitely helps not break things. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to just toy around with a lot of this stuff. That's the thing I always tell people. Install it on a VM or an old laptop you got laying around. Mess around with it to the heart's content. But what I hate is... What I see too much is too many people like just jump on a new distribution because it's new, shiny, and they know people will click on it and be like, oh, what's that? I've never heard of it. And then they'll look at it and they'll be like, oh, I might try that. And then they try it and then everything I just went over happens. <laughs> so that it's like, well, it was kind of like a foregone conclusion. So I don't want to like push people into that category, so to speak. 